G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday, where every Tuesday we get together, we talk about some new, different, or just exciting technology in the FPV drone racing world, and today, well, something pretty cool, pretty cool special and special edition, what we're gonna be checking out is this right here. Now what this is, this is the Tyrannus X9 Plus, but the Mr. Steel edition. Now for those of you who don't know, you know, maybe you're new to the hobby, but Mr. Steel about, you know, back in the day, he used to be the biggest FPV pilot in the industry. Nowadays he does some different things like paramoting, vlogging, he does a lot of different things like some commercial work, all that sort of stuff. I'll link his channel down below, but he used to be like a hardcore, one of the best of the best FPV pilots. Nowadays there are so many fantastic pilots, but back when we first sort of started, it was only like he was one of the superstars who sort of got right in there and built a big following. So what we're going to be checking out is his radio, his special edition. We're going to be finding out is it the right radio for you because look, there is uh, some differences in here and it's also fairly pricey compared to some of the other options out there. And the reason why I never thought this would happen is because traditionally, look, this radio showed up in a Banggood box for review. I'll put the link down below, but I know Mr. Steele doesn't really like Banggood, but they're selling his radio, so I'm not sure uh, what the circumstances are around that, whether he's teaming up with bangers or anything like that. So what we're gonna be doing in this video, we're gonna be sticking on the bench, breaking it down, and finding out you know, what makes this radio special. Is it the right one for you, and is it worth the high price tag? And then we'll take it out to the field, fly it around, you know, hand it over to Grumpy Trev and Crash Test Cal, and see are we actually gonna get any flight advantages sort of in my day-to-day -day racing when we're flying around with it. All right, let's stick it on the bench and get started. Alrighty, so here it is on the bench for the Tech Tuesday quick look. And first things first, we're not gonna be going through every single feature that the Tyrannus offers, you know, the X9D, everything that it offers, because I've reviewed a bunch of these radios in the past. We're just gonna be looking at what makes the Mr. Steel edition special. And if you wanna find more about, I guess, the radios, Tyrannuses in general, I'm gonna put a little playlist up here. You can go and watch that. Anyway, so first things first, you're gonna notice the striking color because look, you're paying a bit of a premium, but you do get, I guess, it does look cool at least if that's what you're after. So it comes in this sort of cobalt blue color, a sort of blue and black color theme we've got going on, and that's also in the screen Welcome as well. To open TX. Thank you, young lady. So you've also got a nice blue screen on there. So I'm gonna turn this back off so we can keep going. Uh, first thing we should do, let's stick it on the scales because look, you might be interested if you're after a new time radio, how much is it gonna weigh? It's coming in at about 930 grams. So getting close to a kilo, I don't know what that is in pounds, what like, two pounds or something like that. Anyway, so yeah, it's coming in at close to a kilo and you gotta think if you're holding this thing all day, I think these bigger radios tend to get a little bit heavier. Of course, this radio, it's meant to be like Mr. Steele's edition. So what he uses, he is a pinching pilot, so it's gonna be interesting. I think this is more suited to those pinches. People who use the thumbs, I find this sort of older style of radio, this really big one, a little bit difficult to reach all the different extremities and stick extremes and that sort of stuff. Look, that's just my opinion. I flew with an x d for a long time uh, before I jumped over to my QX7. Now, some of the things that are unique to this radio. So we talked about that blue screen. We've got the sort of the Hall Effect gimbals in here, the Hall Sensor gimbals. They're really nice quality gimbals. We've got our little switches on the top, which look, they're not just metal anymore. They've got some little plastic parts. I do like these knobs up the top, these potentiometers. I do like what they've done there. I think they look really cool. On the back, you've got this little stand, which I know he uses you know, when he puts his radio down and stuff like that. I've got to give it to Mr. Steele. He does look after his gear when I see him flying. He seems very particular in the way and uh, how he sets things down and sets things up and all that sort of jazz. I seem to just treat my radio a little bit more poorly and I'm just throwing it into the bag. Uh, what I do want to point out too, if you flip this thing over, you can see they're actually a limited edition. So I don't know if this is going to be sold out or if people are buying or into them or anything like that. But, uh, you know, I'm on number 258 out of 500. So I don't know if there's only 500 of these made in the world, I guess. Then you can sort of justify its price for a limited edition. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen not once we reach that 500 limit. Now, there's a bunch of different models when it comes to Tyrannuses. And really for the price cost of like the 350 bucks or, you know, possibly a little bit more depending on what it is at the price of this video. I'll link it down below. It kind of, for me, it makes it pretty hard to justify spending that when you can get something like the QX7, which sort of does the same thing, except it doesn't have a detachable antenna, which sort of does the same thing for a lot cheaper. Like some of these go for like 90 bucks. I've seen them on sale in the past. So that is a huge price discrepancy between the two. Now look, I have upgraded my gimbals and that'll be in that playlist, a little video on how to do that. And you know, I bought this silicon case for a couple of bucks, all those sorts of things. But 
I don't think you're going to be getting too much of a performance difference. The one difference that I thought might come with a special edition, if we're going to, I guess, things that would really make it worth it for me. First things first, you do have a detachable antenna you can put up the top that Mr. Steel, I can't remember what he uses, it, what he calls his, the penetrator or something like that. I know he sticks on a huge antenna on the top. That would be really nice to see if that was actually included in his radio. Now, the other part too, I thought, well, that shouldn't have been too much a stretch. What I really would have thought was cause when you turn it on, you Welcome had, to open TX. instead of that polite British lady, you had, Mi oh, thank you, thank you, young lady, you had Mr. Steel yelling at you. So like a Mr. Steel voice pack or something like that. I think that should have been included in this, uh, in this radio. That would have been really cool. Another little change as well. I'm not sure if he uses all the switches in his radio. I could be mistaken. I thought he'd taken some of them out. And I think if you're going to get a Mr. Steel radio, you want it to match his exact setup because you're a fan and that's exactly why you're going to be buying it. Anyway, so that's sort of a rant about some of the things I think could change or, you know, is it worth it? And I'm kind of, you're probably getting the feeling that I, for most pilots out there, I don't think it's worth it for them. I wouldn't be buying this radio space purely on the fact of its features. But if you're a big Mr. Steel fan, if you sort of like his videos, or you're going to copy what he does, you know, he's going after his target audience. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people, especially when they're a limited edition, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who would be more than happy to rock this radio. I really like it, which is why I like the look of it, which is why you see it on my desk all the time. But I'm probably not going to be flying with it uh, when I've got some of those other radios. I'm really holding out, I guess, because I use my thumbs as well. I don't pin I'm really holding out for that. I think it's the X light or the Free Sky X light where you can actually jump on. And it's more like an Xbox sort of controller style of shape. Anyway, that's the bench stuff and some of the differences about the Mr. Steel Special Edition radio. What I want to do, let's take it out to the field, fly it around and see if we can notice any real difference in our day-to-day -day flying. So when we're actually on the sticks with the goggles down, we're handing over to Grumpy Trev, Crash Test Cal and see what they think about the radio as well. So let's jump out and rip it around in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field, going to rip it around and see how we're going to go with the Mr. Steel radio. I'll give you my impressions. We'll hand over to Grandpa himself, see what CTC thinks as well, and find out is this going to be the right radio for you, or you know, how does it compare to some of the other Tyrannus options out there? So let's cut to me doing some flying. I've got it hooked up to the frog, ready to rock and roll. All right, this is what you guys have been waiting for. I've got to talk while I'm flying. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna have to move my arms around, but we'll see how it goes. Gotta get these comfy on my head. All right. Nope. There's a lot of switches on here. Okie dokie. It does feel a little bit more heavier than I'm used to. Alright, and the sticks are a bit stiffer than what I'm used to as well, but that's not really the radio's fault. You can easily change that. Oh, almost clipped that tree. One thing I think they probably could improve on is the actual sticks themselves. I don't know if like, I know they're really short at the moment and those sorts of things. But I know in the special editions, you actually get like some bigger, better bits that are easier for your thumb to clip onto. These ones do feel very, very thin. They even feel smaller than maybe my QX7 as well. Oh, almost crashed there, Trevor. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Look, I don't know how much I can really say about, about this radio. I guess we could probably take it out, do some range tests and those sorts of things. But I guess versus the other Terrenai, Terrenus, whatever the plural is there, I'm not noticing too much of like an actual flight difference or i don't think you're getting any advantage or anything like that one nice thing i guess would be if you could swap out that antenna you know and put the the bigger higher decibel antenna on there if you're trying to get some sort of longer range and those sorts of things it definitely doesn't feel bad but for me i'm just not feeling the i guess the price that it's sort of coming in at and if this is mr steel's exact setup i mean with this many switches and i guess this sort of stiff on the springs then i don't know how he I don't know how he does it actually. If he even, how would you even use all those switches? I mean, I do think the color looks cool. I'm a big fan of that. But when you got the goggles down, then you know it's not really going to make that much of a difference. Actually, it's not going to make. Let me rephrase. The color is not going to make any difference to your actual flying. The stand is kind of useful when you're sort of putting it down. And I was just doing some arming and those sorts of things, and sort of we're changing the VTX channel. That was handy to be able to put your radio down on the ground without sort of. Uh, getting any dust or dirt in it but overall look you know it does feel really nice in the hands but i can't see myself switching anytime soon and i it's really hard who to recommend this and who we, i guess the market audience is maybe if you're a huge mr steel fan and maybe if you signed them or something like that if there's only 500 a signature would be pretty cool but yeah other than that i you know i'm probably going to be sticking with the radio i have anyway what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this in and then we'll see what grumpy trev thinks as well okay sum it up in five words Stuart. uh something something five words good but overpriced 
good but overpriced. Oh, is overpriced how many words that's, is that? That's, that's one word. Yeah. Can we put a very in there? No. <laughs> Leo Trev, what do you think of the Mr. Steel Special Edition Radio? It's a free sky that looks like it's undercoated. In what? They haven't finished painting it. Oh yeah, you're not, you're not a fan of the finish? No, nah, it looks crap. <laughs> okay. It's got a couple of little plastic knobs on it, which, you know. Oh, it's got a mo, look. Yep, it does have an extra moustache there. Yeah. It looks like undercoat to me, so I think they need to give it a paint job. Yeah, you've also got a stand on the back. Oh yeah, look, that probably come in handy. I like the way it stands up. You can put it down, that's pretty cool. But I don't think it's worth the extra money. But anyway, we'll give it a go and uh, All right, see, see what, what happens. you think. Geez, the bloody sticks are stiff. Yeah, but I guess that that's like any radio you yeah. get. You can't really blame the radio for stiff sticks because you can change that. Yeah, nothing like a stiff stick. <laughs> nope. Trevor! So much different to... Because I've got the uh, special edition Tyrannus. Yep. And it feels way better than this. The sticks are stiff. Yep. It's undercoated. It yep. hasn't been finished painted. Okay. <laughs> the, the, all it's got that my hasn't got is a moustache. Yes. Uh, I cannot see this being worth a hundred dollars more than the special edition. Alright, so I guess it, because it's about 350 bucks or something like that. Yeah, well I reckon if, you, if, you, US. if you're prepared to spend $350 on a radio that's got a moustache on it, you need your head red. What would you recommend instead then? Hi, <laughs> Trevor's crashed! Oh look at that, no it didn't. Good recovery. Good recovery. Oh look, there's special, nothing wrong with the special edition. You don't get a moustache but... Uh, <laughs> God, Trevor's throwing some serious shade, yep. I really, honestly, Paying all this money for this radio, an extra hundred dollars when you don't need to spend the money, you're crazy. This has got nothing going for it, except it's got a stand on it, which you're probably paying a hundred dollars for in a Mustang. All right, what about in terms of performance? Do you think it performs well as a radio? No, it's no different than the one I've got. Yeah, it is. It's Tyrannus. They're always, of course, it's going to perform good. Okay, so the performance is good. Yeah, you're going to have to tweak it like all radios to yourself because these sticks are stiff as anything. Oh, the sticks have got little bloody condoms on them too, so... No, oh, the knobs, the yeah. knobs. <laughs> I'm not helping there at all. The little switches, the switches. Yeah. The switches, there we go, demonetized. Yeah, uh, uh, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, you thought I was bad, too. Yeah. Anyway, look, I'm going to bring this in. Okay. We're going to give Crash Test Color go to this thing. Where am I? I'm lost. Uh, we're up here, are we? Where the Okay, I'm coming in. All right, Trev, so final thought. Value, I guess, uh, performance out of 10. So, you know, for a normal radio, don't take the price out of it. Performance okay, out of 10. You can you got your stand, us. you've got a lower profile sort of screw-in antenna if and um, a moustache and some whatever you call those things over the switches. Yeah, look, performance, look, it's a 10 out of 10 because it's a Toronto, so they just do work well. Okay, and what about value for money out of 10? Value so, for money, it's... A four. Okay. <laughs> it's not worth paying the extra hundred bucks for. Just all you got to stand, a few little condoms on your switches. No. <laughs> yeah. And a uh, and a mustache. And it, they haven't even painted it. So there you go. All right. It's still got the undercoat on it. So uh, no, look, save your dollars, guys. Just get a normal Trana special edition. Yeah. It's not worth the money. Radio CTC. Wow. Now you're kind of a fan of this radio, I think. Yeah, I, I know am. you've spoken about it in the past. I'm not a fan of the price. But, okay. Um, I just like the little extra details that I see on it. It's got nicer switches, which is always appreciated because they're the first things to pretty much give out on a Tyrannus. Uh, it's got the lovely hall gimbal. It's got the moustache, of course. I don't know what colour you'd call this, a blue battle... Cobalt, I think, maybe. All right. It's got very nice knobs, I must say. They're different. It's got a really nice antenna, which uh, screws in much lower than any other previous... Radio antenna defective. Oh yeah, don't do that. <laughs> At least it could recommend it, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's got a much uh, more compact antenna, so if I, this would fit into the uh, Betaflight backpack, and uh, oh maybe not with the uh, with the stand, but I'm not sure. But I thought that was kind of neat. I thought it did have some supposed to have some grip on it, but it's just the, the standard X9D kind of thing. Yeah, look, not much really above and beyond the radio I'm already using which is a X9D Pro. Plus, it's plus. Plus. This is really just a little bit of extra bling. Who do you think this is aimed at? Hipsters. Blingy, <laughs> <laughs> blingy hipsters. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we put it up with, and with fly too around? Much money, with too much money in their bank account because uh, for all the extra upgrades that I see here, I, I wouldn't think that they would be much more than $50 above the uh, standard radio, but to see them jacking it right up. A hundred bucks more than the special edition, I just uh, don't see the value. I really don't. And it looks, it kind of looks a bit generic, uh, cause no sticker there or anything, and uh, 
but you got the moustache. But I, I always also thought it should have come with a, a Mr. Steel voice pack on it. Yep, yep. Uh, it didn't come with any of that, although it did come with a new voice. Welcome to Open TX. Sexy. So. All right, should we fly it around and see what you think? Let's give it a go. Calvin's struggling with some omways because you've packed your stuff up. It's in the car. All right. Or maybe the other one. No, I'll go plug and replug. Okay. Is your radio on? The radio's not on. God. I can't see that. You can. Welcome to Open TX. <laughs> Trying to wonder why our quad's not arming. Which one was it? Nah, the front one. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm not used to these goggles. But uh, look, obviously I wind my sticks out a little more, but uh, it feels very similar. Mm -hmm. There's no difference. So, you know, you can talk about stiff sticks and everything, but they're easily adjusted. Look, man, this is just a, a normal Tyrannus. Do you think you're getting any advantage or anything like that by using the, this version? No. Oh. oh, did you hit a tree, Cal? Yeah, a little ghosty. All right, so Cal, you crashed. Trevor, did you do that on purpose? I, I bought your quad back, Cal. Did you do that? Did you put that, that in there? Yeah, it was. That's the, <laughs> the tree he just killed. I don't know what's left to talk about, Stu. It's really just a standard tyran Tyrannus, in my view, and it's just got a ex bit of extra bling. That's it. That's all you're paying for is cosmetic stuff. All right. And that antenna, if you, if that means something to you. Yeah, and that antenna is something I did like. Do you think that's worth a hundred bucks extra? <laughs> No. Okay, what if you had the uh, Crash Test Cal Free Sky Edition radio, what would that have on it? Uh, much the same. I definitely would have grip. So that's the only thing uh, I don't like about the Tyrannus is it's uh, that hard plastic and it can slip out of the hands quite easily. You can buy additional grips for them, but I just wish they came with uh, grips or give you the option to put grips on them. So give me Cal's famous four words to sum up this radio. Uh, too expensive, but good. Okay, all right. I think that's fair. All right, Cal, final thoughts? Uh, my final thoughts are, is this is one of the best radios in the industry. There's yep. no doubt about that. And look, if you've got a few extra pennies, you want a little bit of extra bling, something that's going to uh, set you apart from the other guys at the field, Yep. then, then get it. That's are you going to be pay. buying one? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I just can't justify that extra cost. But uh, look, it's a beautiful radio. If it was uh, in the same ballpark in terms of price as... Uh, like, like the special editions and that yeah, sort of the stuff? special edition, then I would say, yeah, it's a no-brainer. I probably would go for this. But, um, you know, while it's a hundred bucks more than those systems, uh, I, I don't see the value. All right. Nice. Thanks, Cal. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my Tech Tuesday quick look at the Mr. Steel Free Sky Tyrannus. I guess you'd call it this, but we'll just call it the Mr. Steel Edition. And overall, look, it does look really cool. It does offer some fantastic features, but for that price point, I just can't make sense of paying that much money. Unless you're a diehard Mr. Steel fan, you really want to emulate everything that he has, I just can't justify spending that much money on something that can sort of get the same job done for like less than half the price. Anyway, that's just my opinion, you know, with a little bit too big, I don't feel like it's offering just enough to justify the price when really you're just getting some switches and a blue screen and a cool finish. But some people might think differently, and if you're a diehard fan of Mr. Steel stuff, you know, definitely check this radio out because then it might be for you. Anyway, what do you guys think? Would you prefer to get this one, a normal special edition, you know, the special edition QX7, or even just the cheap 100 buck QX7? Because look, there is some big price differences from this one all the way down to that one, and they sort of do similar stuff. So I, I think they're in the same sort of range. Anyway, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Subscribe for more FPV related content, and as always, happy flying. I do have to admit, like, even though I don't like the size of the radio, it's too big for me, I do like how it looks. I do think it's a very nice looking radio. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also gonna leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you wanna join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.